I'm Jay Thomas, and welcome to Rides. This show looks at anything that has an engine and a story told by the owners. Fast car like a bolt to We are going to go look at like a really nice old Ford. I guess the guy's got a cool hangout as well. Look at that double, man. I've never seen one of those. We're going to have some fun. As always, uh, here we go. Let's go for a ride on rides. Chris, how you hey, doing, yeah. brother? As soon as I pulled up, I'm like, my God, I've never seen anybody restore a double pumper before. So how did you get into all this, man? Yeah, well, you know, I used to do mechanic work when I was just about a kid. Then I went to Vietnam, and when I came back, I thought I had to do something that's a little cleaner. Give us the history on this. What's the story on this Crown Vic? Well, this one here I bought in Williston. About the only thing left of it was the roof. The glass and everything was shot. From about six inches below the roof line, there was absolutely nothing there. Really? So then I uh, sectioned the car three and a half inches, and then I channeled it two inches. What the, how tough is it to get that glass top? Well, this one here I found out of uh, British Columbia, Canada, and they could make them the color you kind of want, so this one here is kind of a gray tint to the top because they have gray tinted glass in it, too. This paint on here, that's what just sets this thing apart. What is this, a candy apple brandy wine? Uh, it's a house of color brandy wine. Brandy wine. Yeah. God. It's yeah. a gorgeous color. With a silver base. What are the taillights from? Uh, 54 Ford. Okay. And then the backup lights were 56 Ford. And the upholster work, I do pretty much all that myself. You do? Really? Yeah. I do pretty much everything on it, you know. Kind of customized. I got a 56 Ford pickup speedometer. Oh, right yeah, okay. The quarter digital gauges <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, that for four, oh, six, what? four six engine in it. Yeah. All right, what are you running in here? 4.6 Ford. Boy, that is wedged in there, too. Yeah, they get pretty tight in there. Wow. What kind of horsepower does this thing pull? Uh, this one here has got about 290 horse. Not, not, yeah, not, this isn't built for speed. This is just for cruising. Right. I, I drive these cars all over the, all over the country. All right, we have to look at this over here now. Yeah, that's a 49 Ford. Look at the paint job. Don't tell me you did the paint job on this. Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. What do you, okay, I got to ask, what do you do for a living? Are you in the, I mean, do you do I, buy? I used to have a collision repair shop. Well, there you go, right there, okay. And custom cars was, oh, okay. was my hobby. So, so I'd do the custom car things, you know, and the other guys would do the collision repair. Bought it from a, a rancher out in, uh, Madora out in the Badlands. Way out in the Badlands, okay. And when I come out to pick this car up, he says, oh, you can't pick it up yet. He says, I got a bunch of dynamite in the trunk. He says, no. I'll load that. <laughs> really? So okay. we op opened the trunk and here it had two containers of dynamite. Yeah, I had to shrink it down a little bit. <laughs> Hold on, hang on. Okay, I just gotta make sure. To Okay, just want to make sure I wasn't wearing my Chevy hat today. I feel bad. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. But they really get tight in these old Yeah, you movies. think? I mean, you can't even. <laughs> There's no room. Oh, right. What's this treatment? What are these out of? They look familiar, and I can't play. 59 it. Cadillac. 59 Caddy, French den. Yeah. And this here is kind of. Now don't tell me you did the, the airbrush. Did you do the airbrush? No. Okay. No. All right. It's like, come on, there's got to be something you can't do. All right, what are we looking at next? Oh, that's a car I built for my wife. That's the wife's car? 54 Ford Sunliner. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like it did when it came from the factory. Oh, no, no. Oh, just notice, too, the ghost flames on it. This pretty luxurious interior. What's this one out of? It's actually Eldorado also. You I like the Eldorado. You like the, you like the, you they like got the good Cadillac seats, stuff. Yeah. What are you running in this? Let me guess. Uh, same as those. No, this has got an LS engine in it. Really? <laughs> OK, let's take a look. <laughs> There's nuts. Oh. There <laughs> Okay, so this thing must get up and buggy. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of power. Any idea what the horsepower is on this? I think this here's got like 375 or something. That'll move it down the road. So this thing, this thing drives like a brand new car. It does. Modern yeah. car. It yeah. drives very nice, yeah. How long ago did you do this one? 12, 13 years. Oh, your work already. holds up, man. <laughs> I love it. And anybody, you notice his shirt? Retirement plan, and it's, it's working out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is about the loudest one. Okay, that's the one we want to hear. Can you fire it up in here? Yeah, fire it up. Yeah, quick and to the point. We get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it smells good. <laughs> that smells good. <laughs>
This is cool. Just the fact that everything we're looking at, you did. No, look, man, thank you so much for letting us come here, hang out, showing us cars. Thank you, Chris. Great hey, thank guy. you, Jay. And nice meeting you. And you too. We'll see you down the road. Thanks, brother. Welcome back to Rides. We're gonna go talk to my buddy, Jay Shervin. This guy is into the signs, the memorabilia, all the cool petroleum stuff. I think the guy's got a problem and he won't admit it, but I'm gonna to try to help with that problem. Jay. Hey, come on in. What's going on? Long time no see, brother. brother. Just show everybody the problem you have that you won't admit. Yes, yes, it's <laughs> an addiction, that's for sure. Let's just go have some fun. All right, sounds good, oh, let's go. Dude. Check this out. How did this all start? It's a great story. Probably in the GTO. I got the GTO first, and then it just sort of evolved from there. And Well, right where we're standing, this was an in-the-home, yep. in-ground pool. 12 feet was the deepest diving yep. board. Yep. Now, most people would die to have an indoor pool with a diving board. You pulled the pool out, filled yep. it in, <laughs> filled it in. <laughs> over so you could put your car in here? Yeah, so you can have a, a big man cave, I guess. That is outrageous, man. So how long ago did you do this? It's probably been in here like 10 years now. Yeah. Because it took me a couple years to actually fill this in and get cement in it and everything. So how much dirt. It's 22 truckloads of dirt to fill it back in. <laughs> Two kidding. loads of gravel. He pulls a pool eight, out of eight it. Eight yards of cement. That is nuts. Real quick, let's talk about the GTO, because that's, I gotta believe, what started all this yeah, craziness. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've had this car since I was like 17 years old. It's been restored all yeah, over the years. Yeah, I restored it, yeah. Talk to us about the engine, man. That's uh, a 428. Pontiac made those motors for three years. They used to come in like Catalinas, Bonnevilles, all the big cars. Originally, when I got this, when I was a kid, it had a big block in it, a, you know, Chevrolet, yeah. the big tunnel round stick out of the hood and all that good stuff, the fun stuff. What's the color on this? That's uh, Nightwatch blue, factory this color. This is a yeah, factory It's color. always been this color. Beautiful shape, man, this is gorgeous. Who do we thank for this? John DeLorean. John DeLorean. Yeah, him and a couple other guys were the, were the masterminds behind the GTO. Talk to us about this Buick side, because this is, that's cardboard, right? Yeah, it's cardboard, and then it has, you know, a little motor in it that makes the wings go up and down, of course. It would have hung suspended from the ceiling in the dealerships, it's double-sided. How did you find that, and in that shape? I got to clean out a, a, you know, a couple buildings in a Pontiac dealership at one time, and it was actually in there. I love this display. This is the first time I've seen one oh, of these. Oh, the Wiz products, yeah. Some stuff you don't see either, like the old drain cleaner for your house. By Wiz? Yeah, when I got them. This is actually like the counter display for it. This one, you'd fold this and then you'd set it on the counter and then you'd put, put this. Put that in there. You'd put this inside here. It fits right in there. Oh, wow. And that would have been the display, the counter display. Everywhere you look, there's something. Yeah. Even the Goodwill used sign, they came out of that dealership. That thing is in beautiful yeah. shape. The gas pumps, they're neat to look at. Nobody likes going to the gas station anymore. That, that Boy, was, I wonder why. That was a time that was fun. Yeah, it was, why. yeah. A lot of this stuff they would give you just to go to the gas station back in the day. Guys were just throwing this stuff away or using it to patch wagons or yeah. whatever, and now Holes it's just and roofs. skyrocketed. And I'll tell you right now, I try to help Jay with his with the problem that he won't admit, like try to buy stuff <laughs> off him. It just doesn't happen. He just won't. And I try to, you know, move things on to other people that, you know, are like you are getting into the collection. It's, you know, you might as well, if you have doubles or triples or something, you might yeah. as well help somebody out. You heard him say that? Did you hear him say that? Because he's got triples <laughs> a lot of stuff and I get any of it. So this is just one spot at Jay's place. He's got multiple places. Can we go look in here? Absolutely. <laughs> wow. More fun. This is the real deal from the dealerships, yeah, these, those these posters? The, yeah, those are the dealership posters that would have hung in the 
showroom, basically. And those frames are the frames that came with them. Don't they just pop out and yeah, they, they just, pop in? They just quick, you know, they were changing them all the time, so. These things are in beautiful shape. Where did you find those? They were in the dealership that I cleaned out. You got the complete touch-up paint kits. Yeah, both sides, they, they open. Wow. Same thing, dealership? Yep. I love this, too. Oh, the maps, yeah. They made so many different ones, you know. I yeah. mean, every gas station had their own maps, almost, you know. And then they have the stand, too, The little for holder them. for them, yeah. The oil cans. These things are becoming really, really valuable. That's sort of what I started out with, was these, you know, because they were small. They're just called a household oiler, yeah. you know. So. But they're easy to display. Bug sprayers. The old bug sprayers. The old yeah. bug sprayers. I mean, even this is funny. It's something you would have hung on your mirror. Officer, give me a few minutes. I'm going to get changed for the meter. <laughs> I've never seen that yeah. before. You're supposed to hang it on your mirror, you know, hope, hoping you're not going to get a ticket. I think it's just an ice scraper, but it's... it is. And it was handed out by Meyer's Cigar Store. Liquors, cold beer, free ice cubes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot. Of, it can be just the smallest thing sometimes. It doesn't have to be. A big sign worth, you know, two, three yeah. thousand dollars. Well, actually, I'm into these too. I've, I've got the old garbage the bags. Garbage I started, bags. I started uh, uh, grabbing those up too. I'll run into them here and there. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start grabbing those. Yeah, and them and it's the funny because they're window crank. They go on your window crank. Yep. And you know, now most kids don't even know what a window crank is. <laughs> <laughs> we got the train and everything. You know, built a junkyard, built a drive-in theater. It's all stuff you do. You know, from your past yeah, or what you deal with. Brings back yes. the memories. Yeah, exactly. I did this before my shop was built a lot, though. So now, <laughs> and, you know, I'd be down here in the winter. Speaking of the shop, thought there was cool stuff in the first room we went to. Wait till you see Jay's shop. The shop, the barn. No, the story on the barn, you had this, what did you do, you had it moved here? Yeah, some people about six miles from here, good friends of mine donated it to me. How tough is it to, I mean, this is a big barn. Yeah, How tough is this to move? 30 feet high. Yeah, it was rather <laughs> intense. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the barn, the shop. Yeah. Check it out. Oh, <laughs> man. This stuff is the real deal that we're looking at. Yeah, I get stuff that people donate to me or buy for me as presents. You know, some of it is repop stuff, you know, but 90% of this is original. This is a trip back in time, man. Thank you. It just puts a smile on your face. That's a safety suit from the Knoxville Speedway where they do the Sprint Car Nationals. Nice. I love Firestone signs. Mm -hmm. They're always really colorful. You they know, are a lot very. A lot of nice colors to them. So many signs were all the same color. It was red, red green, white, yellow, blue. and yeah. white. And that was it. So what in here would you consider your holy grails that you just love? There is no oh, way on boy. God's green earth would you part with it. The one gas pump over there, that's the very first gas pump I got, the city service one. My wife bought that for me, so it was the very first one. And then, of course, cans, more cans, lots of cans. Cans look good if you don't have a lot of real estate. Mm -hmm. They're easy they to display. They display easy, yeah. And they're colorful, and they're not outrageously priced. It's a time that we don't deal with anymore. Everything's plastic and it throw is. away. Yeah. What the hell is this? That's actually a glass float that would have went in the tanks in the ground at the gas oh, station. Oh, the gas station? Yeah, the in-ground tanks. Oh my God, is the, is the truck actually in that Texaco box? Yeah, but it actually has like a plastic bag even that says Texaco. What's up with the boots? I lost a real good friend of mine, so those are, those his, are his boots. Those are his boots, yeah. And there's nice some, job. There's nice some, some ashes in there, so oh, every time the door goes, he goes for a little walk with me. What do you call the next building? Ah, it's just the pole shed or project barn, I guess. You gotta have a place to keep stuff that's coming up, you know? <laughs> Let's go. This shop was here before, you know, I got the barn. So now I just sort of park stuff in here and I use it for parts and things I still pick up, you know. I'm looking at Off all, all the old cabinets, man. Yeah, old cabinets. They're so cool. 
old parts. Look at that. I love the boxes. Yeah, the boxes. Are, and that's for me, the advertising is some of the neatest stuff on it, you know? Yeah. What is this? They're all old touch-up paint cans. <laughs> oh, wow. Ford paint cans. Yeah, there's Lincoln stuff, other off-brand stuff, you know, I mean, Wicks. Pure later. Phillips 66. Phillips 66, yeah. Parts, more parts. God. Yeah. Really? Those are Lincoln. Anybody out there got a Lincoln? Lincoln. Look at that. Those are all uh, old books they would have given away four times. December 57. Jeez. You know. This is really all cool. All old Ford books. Even this cabinet is an old dealership cabinet. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot about this building, all the oil cans hanging from the ceiling. Dude, here's another Firestone site. What, why is it dying in here? <laughs> Come on. Well, there's stuff in here displayed, too. <laughs> People, will you call Jay and tell him to sell me one of these Firestone <laughs> signs, please? Look at that. Shame on you. Just shame on you. What is this? It's a 71 T37. By 71, the insurance companies were getting mad at everybody for smashing the cars, the big muscle cars, all that stuff. So they were trying to downsize that. So if you went into the insurance man and you said, hey, I just bought a new GTO or a new Trans Am, oh. your insurance rate's gonna be pretty high. If you came in and said, oh, I bought a Pontiac T37, they really didn't, <laughs> doesn't, you know, yeah. so they call these sort of a poor man's GTO is what they are. But I chased this car for just about close to 17 years before I finally got it. And here it sits. Yeah, so it's waiting to get its <laughs> place in the barn, I guess, you know, but got to finish other stuff first. More cabinets. <laughs> these are all mirrors, AMC remote mirrors. Oh, wow. Still in the box. Still in the box. Yeah. Anybody out there got an AMC need got mirrors? AMC need a mirror. I got a guy. I think you're going to have to build another building, buddy. <laughs> all right, one more building. Yes, there's another building. And this is all basically all Pontiac parts, right? Yeah, pretty much. Here we go, more Pontiacs. Yeah, more cars. <laughs> so this is oh, where I keep man. all the parts. No, are these parts that you sell if somebody needs a part, Jay? I mean, if somebody needs something, and of course, if it's another Pontiac guy, definitely well, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help him out, you know I mean? The thing with the world now is you can buy just about any part you want yeah. nowadays. When I was building my 66, you couldn't do that. You couldn't get doors. You had to, you go, you had to go to the junkyard yeah. rush. But the original stuff is not like the reproduction stuff. No. <laughs> it's just a, a vast array of just a little bit of everything. Valve covers, starters, inspection pans. Is this a Pontiac uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Chieftain? Yeah. Yeah, that's still got the... Still got the, oh man, somebody, somebody, somebody's probably looking for that. Jay, thanks for letting us come out again, man. It was yeah. fun. I know uh, every time you come out here, you look, you see something you didn't see before, and you know, open the place up to other car people, let people come look at it, and it's so much fun coming out here, man. Thanks for being on rides again. Again, <laughs> you bet. Thanks, Glad man. to have you guys. Thanks, brother. Step straight up, okay? And then sit down. Don't try to get your ass over that. Let's see how that works. It's six foot two. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. It's all in the <laughs> design of the entrance and exit. <laughs> I'm Jade Thomas, and this is Ryzen. I cannot believe I'm sitting behind the wheel of the Munster coach, but in the Munster coach with me, the one and only Butch Patrick, Eddie Munster. How are you doing, man? Jay, I'm just doing fine. I always love it when I get out with the cars, so here we are. Dude, this is this is wicked, man. Yeah, <laughs> Holy it's, crap. It gets up and goes. Dude. This thing is freaking cool, dude. Yeah, you're a big car guy, man. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a member of Dead Man's Curve Car Club, coolest club on the planet, and I've been around cars all my life. So I was lucky enough as a 10-year-old kid to be, be befriended by George Barris, and the rest is history. So tell us about 
about this Munster coach? Because this thing, I can't believe I'm sitting in the Munster coach. Well, this is not one of Georgia's coaches. No. So many people that are, you know, quality builders have built their own coach. And I bought this from a gentleman about eight years ago. He happened to be a Chevy guy. The original coach was a small block Ford drivetrain. He was a portly guy, so he built this with a big block Chevy. What is this built on? What's the chassis? Jaguar. Oh, Jaguar oh, suspension and a, a handmade chassis, custom from scratch, and a Chevy drivetrain. And you're running what, 454? 454, four speed, T400, Chevy, uh, Turbo 400. It's comfortable, stops, it's good. It doesn't get much mileage, but who cares? Yeah, it's not about mileage. Come <laughs> on, man, it's not about mileage. How old were you, uh, what, 10, 12 years old? For, exactly, for, 11 and 12, yeah. For Munsters, what was going through your head when this thing pulled up? Well, that was my favorite. When I would read the script on Monday morning, whenever the coach would be involved in the show, two things occurred. Number one, I got really happy because I knew I'd be riding in the back seat yeah. of the coolest car in Hollywood and television. But number two, we'd be outside because we spent a lot of time in a dark, dingy soundstage with the Munster sit. So when we were outside in the Munster coach, it was like a double bubble. Oh, man. This has got to be just loud. There's the keys right there. Just turn it. Church, turn it. Fire's All up right, like, here we go. We're going to fire this bad boy It's up. dependable. <laughs> you people have no idea, man, until you're sitting behind the wheel of this iconic, beautiful Hollywood car. It's a little cold, but it's still, you get the idea. She's, she's a little grumpy. Oh, yeah, lumpy, <laughs> lumpy and grumpy. <laughs> Love it. Butch Patrick, thank you so much for sharing the Munster Coach. Thanks. You bet. Thank you for being on rides. Hey, if you have a cool story that involves a car, a motorcycle, a boat, heck, anything with an engine, we want to hear about it. Just go to rideswithjthomas.tv, send us a picture with your story, and your ride could be featured on the show. And don't forget to visit the merch shop where you can get all your rides gear. From everyone here at Rides, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Three, two, one. Chris, hold on a second there, buddy. Let's do that again. Well, you're gonna cost the company a fortune. So, I, I just lost my damn train of thought. I had a question I was gonna ask, and I completely, I completely. does that. Signing up. <laughs>